Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning. Ronan is just staring at the camera because now, whenever I take the camera out, he is like in awe, and that's all you can stare at. With a very serious face, huh? Yeah. But yeah, he did sleep really well last night. Um, at first I put him down, he slept for half an hour. And I was like, are you kidding me? I am so sleepy. Yeah, but then I put him back to sleep and he slept for six and a half hours. What a good boy. So when he woke up, I was super engorged and he ate on one side and then threw up everywhere, which is why this little towel things are everywhere because I'm like making sure he doesn't spit on my bed. Oh. What's that face for? And I got some new toys because he seems really bored with his other toys. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go because he says, I want my mama's attention. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, cutie. Hello. <laughs> hi. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. You. You're so cute. Did you know? Everyone loves your smile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi. You say mama? Your hand tastes good? Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Just wait until you can eat waffles. Ah, yeah. Waffles! <laughs> okay, so it is hours later. It's like 11 o'clock, I want to say. Yep, it is 11.03. Um, the earlier clip was probably at like 8 or something, but then I got in bed with little man and I fed him and just like when I always want to feed him laying down in bed it's just so comfortable and my back doesn't hurt as much because I don't have to hold him um, but then obviously he just kind of like falls asleep and then I'm so comfortable that I want to fall asleep so we just napped in bed for like a long time um, with him next to me and then on my chest and it was just like so nice and I don't, I don't know it was just so nice I can't those little moments it's hard to just give up, you know what I mean? It's hard to be like, no, I should get up and shower, I should do this, like, he's only gonna be little for so long and I want to enjoy, like, the snuggles and stuff, so I did. Um, and then I got up and tried to fix my hair and makeup because my hair is dirty and I had yesterday's makeup on. I still have yesterday's clothes on, which I need to change, um, but he's just been chilling next to me on his little play mat. Just exploring, touching, you know, learning. And I actually am hoping to work on like a collab video today with one of my friends, but it depends because the weather like has been weird, you know, Maine has like the weirdest weather. So yesterday it was cloudy, so I didn't do it. Today it's like cloudy and sunny, so I'm worried that if I use natural lighting that like the lighting is going to keep changing when the sun goes behind the clouds. So I don't know. I have to try and figure it out. It's hard when you're trying to juggle the weather, like the lighting, and your child, so. <laughs> We'll see. For now, he's in a good mood. Um, he's fed. He doesn't have any gas. He's just playing. So, yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that, and I'm going to get something to wear on, and then I'll catch up with you after. <laughs> this is Ronan's outfit of the day. <laughs> he's wearing a little baby guest sweatshirt over a Ralph Lauren under onesie. Don't you look so cute? And my outfit of the day is this little romper, which again, I got off Skoola for free. Um, I like it because it's like lightweight, and I can still breastfeed in it, because I can just pull this down. Um, I paired it with a necklace. It's got little pockets, and it's really loose, so it's like, I don't know, it's not going to make me hot, you know what I mean? So I really like it, and also, rompers usually make my butt look really weird, but the tush actually still looks pretty normal, so that's good. Ugh, I'm like in such a bad mood now. Um, it is past one o'clock. I've been trying to do that collab video for over an hour, 
my camera is dying so I'm not even gonna be able to like vlog in a minute I need to go charge it but yeah Ronan was being fussy and so that made it difficult then once he fell asleep I like could not deliver any lines because like this is why I do vlogging. This is why I didn't get my April favorites video out to you guys. In vlogging, if your baby is fussy, whatever, that's real life. If you like say weird words, you like can't speak, which often happens to me, then you guys forgive me. You don't really care. I don't really have to edit it out if I don't want to. But in these other type of videos, I want them to be like professional. Well, I mean, I don't have a nice background. I don't have nice lighting, so they're not like as good as other people's videos. But I want them, like, the content to at least be good. I don't want a baby screaming in them. I don't want me being like blah 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 and like not being able to talk in them. So, yeah. It just isn't happening today. That's just... it's not gonna happen. So, I'm gonna try again tomorrow, I guess, which stinks because that means that on the day that I'm not vlogging, I need to shower, which I don't want to do. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try because I really want to collab with my friend Amy. And I really want you guys to find out what this collab is because I think it's a good idea. But on a happier note, <laughs> I am going to like charge the camera, get a snack, take the dogs out, play with Ronan because he wants my attention. He says, Mama, play with me! Play with me! So yeah, I will catch up with you guys after all of that happens. Well, I'm in a much better mood now. It is almost 2.30, I think. Um, little man is just chilling back there in his swing, sucking on his hand. I tried to get some footage like talking to him and making him smile and stuff, but he's way too busy and preoccupied with his hand. I will show you. Want to say hi to Mama? Ron and Andrew Smith. See, it doesn't matter. Usually those tricks would work, but he just wants to suck on his hand, so I guess that's what he's going to do. You silly baby. Oh, his legs are so soft. I wish my legs felt this soft when I shaved. But anyways, anyways, yeah, so while I was gone, I ate a bunch of cold pizza. I watched OK Baby because that usually cheers me up, but I need to finish it soon. Um, <laughs> I nursed him, and then while I was nursing him, I was reading all your comments from like my last vlog. You guys are so sweet. That cheered me up a lot, and I tried to respond to like, I'm pretty sure I responded to all of them, so we'll see. But I did realize when I was sitting and thinking that I did record um, a clip from yesterday that I will insert in this vlog because I went to my P.O. box and finally got that package. So here's that. I got my first package, you guys. And it's also my first international mail, so that is super exciting. I'm not going to show you the address, but it's from Jessica. And I'm so excited, so I wanted to open it on camera. Ronan is just playing over here. Hopefully he'll entertain himself. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay. To Taylor and Ronan from Jessica, and I can't pronounce your last name, so I'm not gonna try. Oh, you got a real card and it's glittery. Thinking of you. That is like so sweet. Okay, I didn't want to read it out loud, but I'm like tearing up. That is so nice. I'm so happy that you wrote like so much stuff on the inside and that's so cool that you're like in England but you're not even from England. You said that you're from Portugal so that is awesome. You're making my eyes water. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> she sent a lot of sweets. So we have Haribo Jelly Babies. I've never seen those. Cadbury Dairy Milk. This is interesting. What is this? Toffee Crisp. I'm like surprised this stuff didn't melt too. This is awesome. Oat Crunch Dairy Milk. So this stuff must be good. And I, I trust that you sent me like delicious things. Ooh. Chocolate. And I'm definitely gonna have to have um... Oh. Thank you. I'm definitely gonna, like, let Stu and Mom have a nibble of some of these things, but I'm totally gonna keep them for myself, because your girl has a sweet tooth. But this is, like, this has made, like, my month. I'm not even joking. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try some of this candy. I'm gonna start with the Jelly Babies. It's Haribo, or Haribo? I don't know. It's the same brand as, like, those really good gummy bears, so I have a feeling that it's gonna be 
smell good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Their faces are creepy. Oh. It's different than I thought it would be. The inside is like softer. Mmm. Oh, they have dead flavors. Kiwi, lemon, mango, orange, passion fruit, safflower, spirulina, hibiscus. That's definitely like some cooler flavors than we have in the U.S. <laughs> Kiwi. Sorry if you don't like listening to people eat. I don't either, but mmm. Those are really good. Okay, I'm going to try the Cadbury Dairy Milk now. Mmm. I love chocolate. This is so good. Mm. So much joy. You've brought my life so much joy already. We're like best friends now. The next one is Dairy Milk Oat Crunch. I have a feeling this is going to taste just as good as the other one. making a mess I don't even care which is so good so good toffee crisp which I am also positive that I'll like I really like a lot of candy to be honest but this candy like it tastes definitely different than American candy oh this one is like it looks interesting in the middle mmm no, we don't have anything like this. It's almost like, um, what's that cereal? It's almost like Rice Krispies, like chocolate Rice Krispies in the middle, and then caramel and chocolate on the outside. So I'm not complaining at all. It's like a weird texture for my teeth to go through, because I'm used to that, like, being in cereal. <laughs> but it's a good idea, and I approve. Mm-mm-mm. I'm in heaven. Thank you again so much. That made me so happy. Yes, it did. And back to Wednesday's vlog now. <laughs> so that was really, really nice. That cheered me up yesterday. Yesterday was a good day. Um, it was just very relaxing and nice. And then at the end of the day, we watched Dead Poet Society, which is like a Robin Williams movie that I've never seen. And that was really, really good. So if you haven't seen that, then I would go out and watch that. And also it was good because Stu got me a whoopie pie. See, I only have a little piece left that I'm about to eat. But it is a special whoopie pie because I hate regular whoopie pies, actually. Yeah, fun fact, I hate whoopie pies. That kind doesn't really taste like a whoopie pie because the outside is almost like an oatmeal cookie. And then the middle of it, the frosting is like a totally different frosting than what is in regular whoopie pies. Um, actually, mini story rant is that one time I was at an event and they had red velvet cupcakes, which are my favorite cupcakes, next to like red velvet will be pies or something. So I was like, what? I want a cupcake. So I grabbed a cupcake and then I was enraged. <laughs> like, I was so mad, which I shouldn't be because it's free food, so I should just be grateful. But I was really mad because it was obvious that they had taken the material for like whoopie pies and just made cupcakes out of it. So it was just like a whoopie pie in disguise, you know what I mean? It was very frustrating to me. It's like when you think you're going to have a chocolate chip cookie, and then you bite into it and it's a raisin cookie. Unless you like raisins, I guess, but I also hate raisins. So basically, moral of that story is that I'm like a picky boop, and yeah, I don't like a lot of food. So I'm very happy that I get to eat that whoopie pie, and I've pretty much already eaten most of those like jelly babies that um, she sent me <laughs> in the package. So, I'm on like a sugar high right now. He's smiling to himself, you guys. He's like laughing and smiling on his own, just chilling in a swing. <laughs> okay, so this always makes him smile. You wanna walk? Yeah. Yeah. You will walk? to walk. Yeah. <laughs> Climb Mount Mama. Step up. You did it. You did it. 
Oh yeah, and we're trying out these new diapers, 7th generation. It's like the same brand that we use for toilet paper. I think it's like recycled paper and stuff like that. Um, and there's 0% bleaching chemicals. It's supposed to be like just as absorbent as Pampers. I don't know. Apparently it's the same price as Pampers and stuff. And it seems to be like they fit like Pampers fit for size 1 diapers. Um, they have cute little like patterns on it too. Look at your chunky rose. But yeah, so far they were working, so maybe we're going to switch to those, I don't know. Someone said that I should uh, play the song for him and see if he likes it. But I know every rock and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. You think you own what I land you land down. So he's really not amused about being in here. But in about two minutes, when I take him outside, he's going to be happy. I think he just, like, I want him to discover new things, you know what I mean? I don't want him to just, like, see the inside of my house all the time. you got to play with new toys. you got to look at some new stuff. You can learn about some birds and some trees and stuff. Ready? Can Mama put you down? This song now reminds me of Kira and Oscar. That intro was the best intro that they ever did. So funny. Yeah, Ronan was like grumpy when we woke up from the nap that we had, but then I put him on his tummy. Wrigley, you're ruining my vlog right now. I put him on his tummy and we started watching Liv's vlogs, and like, I think he is used to her voice by now because we Snapchat so often. I'm kind of wondering if like we FaceTime in the future, if he'll actually like recognize her. That'd be so cute. Or if like I show him uh, Liv enough like as they grow up, if he would recognize her. That would be adorable. So cute. I just pumped. This one is from earlier today, actually. Bro, I'm scared my way. And then this one is from just now. Because I don't really pump that much. I don't, I don't have the patience to pump for very long. That was like four minutes of pumping. But I want to ask you guys, well, by you guys I mean like women who have breastfed and pump and stuff. Have you tasted your own milk? Because I feel like you're kind of lying almost if you say you haven't. I definitely have a few times, like when I had too much milk and it wouldn't fit in the little container, and I was like, oh no, what am I going to do with this? Just ate it. I'm not going to lie, it tasted pretty good. It tasted like 
almond milk or like vanilla almond milk or something. It's so sweet. And then at the end though it tasted kind of weird. It's kind of weird. So I don't know. He likes it I guess. But I wouldn't drink it on the daily that's for sure. But yeah. It was like moxie. It was like good at first and then not so good after. I got him like multiple of these. Well different like animals and colors and stuff. But I really want him to like this one because it's a fox and foxes are my favorite animals. It was a theme for like his baby shower. Oh, don't kick the fox. You're such a little jumpin', jumpin' bean, huh? I know. Watch out, cause here I come. <laughs> here I come. Help me. <laughs> he likes it. I'm gonna fly and catch me, please. Catch me, please. Woo! You see, he's a good flyer, though. Mm -hmm. You hold your head up good. Yes, you do. You strong boy. That's it. No, he says that. That's it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. Bend down, get your legs. Bend down, that's it. Woo, woo, look, I can spin. Woo. <laughs> gonna make him spit everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Mom and Stu went to the gym, so I'm alone with the little one again. He's going ham on his thumb right now. I made myself some dinner, and by made. I mean, I cut up avocado, put cheese on crackers, and opened a yogurt, because I don't really want to cook. And I haven't shown you guys any snaps from Lynn's today, so here we go. <laughs> that belly, though. That's belly. <laughs> no. That belly. She's so cute. Okay, so I should probably snap her back something. So, a filter, since I don't look cute. Oh my gosh. Liv's tummy is so cute. I always give Ronan raspberries on his tummy. He's probably gonna hate it when he's older, but I can't help it. I can't. And I'll scent it. Okay, so I brought Ronan upstairs with me so we could do question of the day. He is wearing one mitt because this hand, his fingernails are clipped. This hand, they are not. This is his danger paw. And he keeps scratching his precious little face, and I don't want him to, so... He's mitted on one side, but he's able to feel and sense on the other. <laughs> um... Yeah, I just want to do a question of the day. I'm sorry if you can hear Bronx. He's like sitting right beside the camera purring and stuff. But anyways. Question of the day is going to be by The Donnellans, which is actually one of my friends, Amy. She does like vlogs too. So if you want to check her out, go right ahead. But she said, question, with the recent Orlando attacks, how do you feel about gun laws? And I was like, ooh, this is kind of a controversial question. Like, should I actually answer this? But there weren't that many other questions um, for that day since I had kind of asked you guys about like the video length and most of you just answered about that. So I'm going to answer the controversial question. Um, and I don't have like a definitive answer. It's like so tricky because every time that there's an attack and it's always yeah. like, I don't know why our country has like the worst attacks ever. Like people die all the time here. It's ridiculous. Um, and it's hard to answer that because I have like family members who own guns and stuff like that, who like open carry, um, and I know people hunt and things like that, like as source of food for their family, so it's like just tricky in my mind. But then again, I also feel like really scared about like this little one, you know what I mean? I don't want to end up like sending him to school and feeling scared that some random person's just gonna come shoot up the school. That makes me super nervous for his safety, or just like going to the movies with him, like nowhere is safe. So I almost feel like, yes, um, there should be, like, laws not prohibiting everyone from having guns, but there should be a lot stricter laws on, like, I don't know, doing courses for safety, and, like, they should know who has what gun. It shouldn't be that easy to get a gun. Like, it shouldn't be as easy as it is, because obviously these people who have are a little bit mentally unstable are able to get, like, guns, and some people are able to get, like, crazy like, military-type guns. Um, it's one thing to own, like, hunting guns or, like, a pistol or something for, like, protection, but these people own, like, crazy, crazy guns. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not- I haven't done a ton of research, to be honest, 
so I can't say 100% what my opinion is, but I'm gonna say my soft opinion, just thinking off the top of my head, is that there should be more laws surrounding gun control. Because I just, I worry about him, mostly, is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I have you, it's scary. So that is how I feel about that. But now, I'm gonna call it a day, and I'm going to start probably editing this vlog right now, because it's like 6.50 or something. And then we're gonna have some dessert. Yeah, a strawberry rhubarb popsicle. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, drooly kisses. Yeah, anyways, I'm just like rambling. I always do this. So I am going to wrap this up now. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> but if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. And pretty much either way, you should comment because I want to talk to you. And we will see you guys next vlog. Say bye! Now you're going to hit the camera.